Hello everybody, my name is Cameron Brown and a warm welcome to today's video and today I wanted to talk about results day because it's something that is quite imminent. Results day for me, as I'm recording this video, is in three weeks and to be quite frankly honest, I am nervous, yay. And I feel like a lot of people are, so that's why I'm making this video. I understand that a lot of my fans will be going to collect their results uh, at a similar time to me, whether or not you're doing your GCSEs or your A-levels, obviously with GCSEs you have to wait an extra week. So I thought to myself, why not make a video talking about results day to hopefully calm you guys down? Because that's what I'm here to do, guys. I am pretty much a meditation YouTuber. I'm not a creep. I'm not going to turn up to your goddamn house if I want to see you. What the hell? Smash like in this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Also, follow my Instagram. Guys, you're missing out if you're not following my Instagram. How are you not? I am so hot and my Instagram proves that. So guys, go follow my Instagram. Uh, so obviously, results day is coming pretty close and I am quite nervous just because of the bad memories that I have of my GCSE results day. So with my GCSEs, I got six A's and four B's, which is definitely a good set of grades. It's not like I did bad in my GCSEs, but in my opinion, I felt like I did bad. In comparison to how the exams went, I really just felt like I fell short. I really did. Like I remember chemistry GCSE specifically, I felt like I did so goddamn well in the exams, but then to get a B at the end of it, I just was so confused. And I feel like I'm one of the few people that finds certain exams easier than they actually are. And I think that's very rare. I think it's with me because I suffer with like poor mental health and things. Like when I was doing my exams, I was kind of happy just because I was able to do the goddamn exam without running out the room. And I felt like that gave me a false sense of security almost, especially with my GCSEs. I hope it's not had the same effect with my A-levels. I hope that the reason why I'm confident by my A-level exams was because I actually did well in them, not because I just got through them like a normal goddamn person. Uh, but honestly, I'm still really goddamn nervous because I just don't want a repeat of my GCSEs. Like, it genuinely was fine with my GCSEs because, like, other subjects balanced it out. Like, yeah, I got a B in chemistry, which I didn't think was very good, but I got, like, an A in English language, which was great, in my opinion. So I wasn't too unhappy because it balanced it out. But obviously with A-levels, there's only three of them, so it's harder for a subject to redeem another. I feel like with a lot of people who do well, generally speaking, they find the exams hard, but then they do well in, uh, on results day and then they're like really surprised. But with me, it's different because I expect to do well. Like it's weird because now obviously I've looked at unofficial mark schemes and quite frankly, I feel like I've done really well looking at my unofficial mark schemes. But in my head, I don't even know if they mean diddly squat. I'm worried that even though my answers were close to the unofficial mark scheme, that they weren't close enough for full credit, full marks, etc, etc. But honestly, I'm just really nervous for results day and I feel like a lot of people are. I wanna talk quickly about what I'm gonna be doing in terms of my result video. I'm not gonna be doing it live, I've decided, because it's just too stressful. I feel like with a lot of other YouTubers, they don't have as many haters than me. Like, I know that even though I don't get that many views on my channel, I know that the second results day arrives, my results day video will do well. I know people are going to be watching that video with vengeance. I know people are going to be really angry watching that video. And I'm not bothered about hate and I'm not bothered about haters, but I am bothered about the stress of knowing that if I fail, like, these haters kind of will be able to one-up me. I, I don't like that at all. So it, it kind of worries me. Like, I don't know what to do. But obviously, then, not opening them live and still announcing my results. I'm still open to the same criticism. But I feel like just opening results live is just too stressful. Like, the problem is with my results day is obviously I, I obviously have to go to school to collect my results. But because of that, like, for me to record a results day video, I'm not going to record it at school because... Pretty much everyone at school hates my channel, so I imagine lots of people try to ruin that video. And on top of that, I don't really want them moments of me opening my results and having that realization of my future. I don't really care about that being up on YouTube. As much as I love making videos and as much as YouTube is part of my life, I think that is just too personal. Especially if I feel bad, it's just too personal to share immediately. Like live, I'd prefer to actually record it after I've got my results. I don't see myself doing badly, weirdly enough. I do see myself falling short on a subject or two, but I don't see myself like failing anything. So it's not like I'm worried about that, but I'm just worried about, you know, if I don't get into uni, uh, going into clearing. I don't want to stress out about making a goddamn video. I don't want that to jeopardize my chance of getting into uni, you know? And to be quite frankly honest, if I do bad uh, at chemistry, for example, like I'll probably be put off doing chemistry at degree level because this will be the second time I flopped at it when I thought I did well. So a third time, 
would mean so much more as well because I'm actually investing my own money and going into uni. But also on top of that, like that's my career path. Like that's the only option I can take once I've done a degree in it. And obviously if I'm bad at it, I'm not going to be able to go through a good career path that I'm going to fail in that respect. There's just so much goddamn stress, honestly, about results day. And I know a lot of people are also stressing about it. It's not just me, obviously. Loads of people are. It's also annoying how like you're expected to kind of like have your future planned out before you even get your results. Like that's something that really annoys me because even though I'm like prepared for like the future i guess i'm not fully prepared like i don't have a job or anything yet i mean i am prepared to go to uni but i'm not like fully expecting to almost i don't think i can possibly be fully expecting to go to uni unless i actually get my results back and that's something that annoys me uh it's just all stressful and to be quite very honest i'm so sick and tired of a levels i'm so sick of the discussion about them because i'm so over them i just want my results and i just want to like leave them in the dirt like, it pisses me off so much about my school because they just didn't really help me with my A-levels. Like, like my school, I've just been so shit about things. Like, I was literally predicted three Bs, even though I'm way better than that. And the results will prove that. But, like, with my school, like, they were never bothered about actually trying to get people to achieve higher. Like, when I went to school and I was predicted three Bs, pretty much that means I could go to a mediocre university. Yes, I was predicted an A in chemistry after I asked to be predicted a higher grade in it. I was actually predicted a C originally in chemistry because that's how the teachers are. The issue is with all of that is I was just given no aspirations at all when during sixth form. And, like, even at the start, like, uh, when I joined sixth form, I wasn't bothered about Oxford Unis. I didn't even know anything about them. I didn't know much about university just because of how my school went about things. They weren't bothered about aspiring me specifically to do well, better in the future. They just kind of expected me to do fine, like, to do average. And that's just not who I am. I feel like I'm better than average. So to be treated like I'm average was just really insulting. On top of that, I had so many issues with my school. Honestly, with YouTube, my YouTube channel, the teachers just being overall sh They didn't do anything about bullying. They didn't ever, like, stop people from taking the piss out of my channel, even though they were very aware of it. My school just annoyed me a lot. And having to think about results day all the time, thinking about getting my results back, just demotivates me and makes me annoyed because it makes me think about school again, which I don't like to think about. But yeah, uh, I'm planning to get my results back, talk about them in a video, make a video on it, obviously as quick as I can because I've got to cash in on the views, you know, you know. And then after I've got my results, if I've done well and I plan to go to uni, that's great. Um, I've taken a new approach to YouTube. I'm not making daily videos, I'm making it regular videos. And the reason why is because I feel like YouTube now cares a lot more about quality, but something that I've noticed is like, I don't have that good of a fan base and I don't want to like lay a dig at anyone here because I do have a good fan base but it just isn't representative of like most of my subscribers like a lot of my channel growth was through pretty much just making fun of fat people and no joke I probably gained about 10,000 subscribers from just making videos on fat people and Americans and stuff like that like literally out of the 19,000 subscribers I have I would I would say that 10,000 of them aren't even like proper fans of me they just subscribe to me because I made fun of fat people and because of that I'm in a position where I have a lot of inactive subs but I do feel like I do have a small fan base out there who really do care about me and to you guys I really appreciate it I really love making videos, but it's really f annoying when I make a video and it gets demonetized instantly because that's what's been happening with my channel. And the fact that my video has been demonetized instantly without even making a title or even the video being fully processed, it proves that YouTube does have an agenda against my channel, which is something I think I just have to be patient about. I think eventually my channel will be removed from a blacklist, so whatever it's put on now. And then it will be allowed to grow. But I really do love making videos. And I am going to be making an effort to make unique content. And there have been some videos that have been unique on my channel. And it seems like a good amount of people have enjoyed them. I really love making videos. Um, but I don't want to have to make a certain type of video anymore. Just to continue to get views. I want to be able to make whatever the f*** I want to be honest. And I want to be original. I don't just want to make reaction videos. I don't just want to make videos talking about specific people. I want to be able to make whatever content I want to make. And that's it, pretty much. I'm not bothered about the views, and I'm not bothered about haters. But that's just it. I'm just at a really weird crossroad right now. Uh, it's just really depressing, knowing that I haven't got my A-level results back, and I'm just having to wait. I absolutely hate it. And I know I've probably been going in circles with this video, but I'm real. I'm not going to try and make an organized video if my mind and thoughts it's in itself are non-organized. 
I'm going to join the boxing society. That, that's something I'm motivated for and excited for. Man's going to be a pro boxer. Um, I actually, I, I love boxing. I love, you know, having a passion like that. And I really do hope that people, like, have a passion like that. Because if it wasn't for boxing, I don't think I'd even be it, to be honest. It's just nice to have passions I think and it's very important to have passions so if you are depressed yourself if you are down try and get into something that's what I highly recommend I've got a few interesting videos coming out soon in the future and I feel like this is just the start for me I feel like once I get into uni and once I start studying my chemistry degree I'll be able to focus on my degree obviously but also I feel like I'll have better resources for my YouTube channel like I'll be able to invest more in individual videos and actually upload less just because I won't have as much time because right now I'm in a position where I have so much free time hence if I don't spend loads of time on YouTube I just feel like I'm not doing good at it even if my channel's doing quite well and I'm making like few videos which are doing well I just want to make a regular content on YouTube that people are excited to watch and want to watch not content that people are just thinking to themselves oh camera made another video what a surprise and yeah, I hope you guys stick with me though. Um, yeah, it's just sad falling off so hard and I feel like I fell off in terms of my channel so hard. And YouTube is like a tease, like there'll be some weeks, some months where my channel will do really well again, but then there'll be other months where it just, it's a continuous decline. And I need to stop looking at the numbers, I think. I've done this too long to care about numbers and immediate success. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Have a good day. Got a good video coming out soon. Trust me.